Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League Edition. And um, before we get going, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirts Company. Um, as part of the deal that I've done with the company, they've agreed to do my first lot of merch. The link is down in the description below, along with all my social medias. Um, if you have trouble finding stuff, please let me know and I will sort it out for you. Um, but guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Liverpool versus Newcastle. Liverpool, two weeks ago, obviously the international break last weekend, beating Burnley 1-0. Uh, not 1-0, 3-0, sorry. Um, away from home. I thought, and I'm not going to speak about Burnley because that's literally my next game. Um... Liverpool played very well. I think they deserve a little bit more than just that three goals. Um, I think Burnley were fortunate to keep them three goals overall. Um, Newcastle, on the other hand, you know, drawing one on Watford, and there is news coming out of Watford. I'll talk about that when we get out to the Watford game. But, you know, Newcastle to get a point at home to Watford. Newcastle ain't really that stepping up team um, this season a lot of people are disappointed with Steve Bruce's appointment um, are you still disappointed as Newcastle fans please feel free to put it down in the comments below um, Liverpool you know as I said three nights against Burnley probably expected a little bit more um, but Liverpool got, got Liverpool, uh, Newcastle this weekend last one going for a 4-0 Liverpool win to get the pressure on City as well um, the next game is Brighton versus Burnley. Brighton loses 4 0 to Manchester City before the international break. Um, Brighton did have their chances in that game. Um, you know, City are one of them places that a lot of teams guys sit back. Pep Guardiola even said about Brighton he was pleased that they came and attacked them and didn't sit back. Um, you know, there's an unfortunate injury from the City end in that game as well. Um, but overall, I don't have to pay result for Brighton. Um, I know it probably wasn't the best result for Brighton. But it's Man City, all 80. You know, it's going to be something like that. But as I said, when I did that prediction, look at Huddersfield. And they managed to get nil nil scoreline um, in the last... One of the last games to keep them up in the Premier League in the first season they were in the Premier League. I'm um, going up against the Burnley team. Um, just as you mentioned them, I uh, lose to Liverpool. I thought when Burnley lost that one goal against Liverpool, they opened up really bad um, on both sides of, you know, both sides of the ball defensively and attackingly. I thought when Liverpool got our one goal, Burnley, you know, Liverpool just ran into the spaces and that's how I opened them up. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Brighton and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one is Manchester United versus Leicester City. Leicester City beating Bournemouth 3-1 at home. Southampton 1-0 um, against Southampton away from home. Let's go talk about our Leicester result quickly. I know I talk about the main night result on the main night point of view. Um, Leicester, you know, turned up. There should have possibly been a red card in that game as well. Um, Common was side it was for. But, you know, yet again, VAR did come into um, conversation. And while I'm on the verge of VAR, I just want to say this VAR is not a match official. Every decision that goes to VAR, it's up to the match officials to give it. I don't like how I'm seeing on social media, it's VAR's fault every week. VAR is a bit of technology. A bit like your phones and your tablets and your laptops. You know, it's there for what it's meant to do. It don't say, it's not that quite advice where it goes, it's a red card, um, unfortunately. But, you know, this is where... I think VAR's got confused with the actual VAR itself. Um, 
you know, what it's supposed to do. But it does actually bring... I think the match official's got to step up a bit, um, if I'm all honest. But, you know, we have to move on, and that's exactly what we're going to do. But for this... Hold on, I want to talk about the Southampton result quickly before I give you the result. Um, Southampton won all, I think... Man United were very fortunate to get a point, and they did have their chances to get the three, but so did Southampton. Southampton's my next game up, so I'll talk about that in, in just a minute. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Leicester, Harry Maguire's old squad, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Leicester win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Southampton. Just literally spoke about Southampton. As I said, it's my next game up, so I'm going to talk about that Man United result. Uh, Southampton result on the Southampton end. Southampton, great play. Probably deserve to get the three points as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, you know, a point at home to United is nothing to be sneezed at. So, how are you feeling, Southampton fans? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. But, you've got to, you know, start picking up points and... Uh, you know, it's one of them things where you probably should have got the fresh points. I've just said that, but um, Sheffield United 2-2 two -two with Chelsea. What a great point for Sheffield United at Chelsea. Uh, no one saw it coming. Chelsea went 2-0 up and Sheffield United came back 2-2 two -two and probably lucky still not to get the three points again. Chelsea looked like one of them teams at the minute where first 45, they're good. Second 45, you've got your chance. Teams need to take them just like Sheffield United did. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it a draw and I'm going to give it a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Tottenham versus Crystal Palace. Tottenham 2 2 with Arsenal. Um, at the Emirates, Crystal Palace beating Villa 1-0. Um, Tottenham were very fortunate to get the point. Um, they did play well in that first half, but second half they seemed to go a bit sleepy. Um, but on the other end, I'll, I'll speak about Arsenal in a bit because they are coming up, same with every fixture. Um, but Tottenham... You know, I expect a little bit more. Not, not um, you know, Ericsson tapping, and I think Harry Kane got one. Um, possibly penalty shout. I don't know what to make of that. Um, if I'm all honest, but two two. Um, tell me how you feel about that result, Tottenham fans. I know it's nearly two weeks ago. Um, Crystal Palace one all. 1-0 uh, against Villa at home. Crystal Palace first three points on the board um, of the season. Is this where Palace are going to really start kicking on? Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go give it to Tottenham and I'm going to go for an easy 3-0 Tottenham win. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Chelsea. Just literally spoke about Chelsea not long ago. Um, drawing 2-2 with Sheffield United. Um, Wolverhampton Wanderers losing 3-2 away to Everton. Wolverhampton looked like that team now which, no disrespect to Wolves or for any team that qualifies in Europe, I'll put my hands up. Um, they looked tired. Um, way back in the transfer window, and I'm, I'm saying it's up, you know, quite a long time ago, it's like literally just over a month, um, or coming up to that. It's... I said, personally, in my Premier League predictions, they did not strengthen enough in that summer window. This is where it's going to count or go against Wolverhampton Wanderers. It is no disrespect to Wolves or the squad or anything like that they've got. But your, tires, your players are going to tire out really quickly. And that sort of showed in that Everton game. Now, if you remember the week before I did the predictions for that Wolverhampton Everton game, I said Everton went on top form. Everton were about, I'll go probably about 60% up there. It is, with Wolves, we've got to do something in the next window. Um, otherwise, 
you know, it will possibly still be looking in the bottom half. I thought Wolves, when they, you know, went out here, I said to my man and stuff like that, I went, this is what I worry about with Wolves. It is literally, you don't strengthen her enough. Look at Burnley um, last season. Qualify for Europe, great. Nearly went down. And that is because they didn't get enough players in. If I remember rightly, Sean Dyche even said we didn't strengthen enough. It can happen again to Wolves. Um, but, you know, they can't do nothing now to the next window. So it's going to be an interesting few months for all rounds and wanderers. Um, Chelsea, on the other hand, 2 2 against Sheffield United. Ain't no mention them. I think Chelsea will pick up the three points because of Wolves. Um, even though they've had, you know, a week break. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 Chelsea win. My next one is Norwich versus Manchester City. No, uh, Man City beating Brighton 4 0, I've already mentioned. Norwich losing 2 0 to uh, West Ham at West Ham. It is one of them things with Norwich. Um, I think they went too attacking against West Ham. I know West Ham got rid of a good few players in the window. Um, you know, players kicking towards out the pram and stuff like that. But I think, you know, Norwich should possibly step back just a little bit more. Um, and maybe try to play a bit more counter-attacking football. Um, Man City, I, you know, nothing more, much more to say about them that I've covered in, when I've talked about Brighton. 4-0, Man City got bad injuries. No Carl Walker got called up for the international break, so he's got to be freshly fit. Um... You know, but Man City do seem to have troubles in the centre-back department now, ever since that injury. However, how am I going to predict this scoreline? I tell you I'm going to predict it. I'm going to give it to the blue side of Manchester, and I'm going to go for a 5 nil Manchester City win. No disrespect to Norwich. Um, my next one is Bournemouth versus Everton. Bournemouth losing 3-1 to Leicester. Everton, 3-2 winners over Wolves. Everton need to turn up a bit more if they're going to beat Bournemouth. It's at Bournemouth's ground, as you can tell behind me. Um, Everton really do need to turn up a bit. And don't see so sloppy goals that they did against Wolves. Um, Bournemouth, on the other hand, you know, just for some, I don't know which way that red car is supposed to go. If you remember uh, Leicester and Bournemouth fans, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Even if you don't think it's a red card, please tell me what player it was and what team. Um, but 3-1 away to Leicester defeat. Nothing to be sneezed at. Um, you know, Leicester is a tough place to go, so I'm just going to give you the result for this one. And I'm going to, get, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Arsenal. Um, Watford 1 0 up at Newcastle. Arsenal 2 2 at home to Tottenham. Watford have sat their manager. Um, they've got a new one in place already. If I was the Watford board, um, I don't think I would have sat him yet. I would have left him this game. Because this game last season in particular stands out in my mind for so many reasons. 10 men Watford holding Arsenal for 80 on minutes. Um, only losing by one goal. They looked like they could have had a few goals back in that game if I remember rightly. I would have given them this game. But Watford, as I said, sacked him. Got a new, new uh, manager in charge already. Um, Arsenal 2-2 two -two, um, at home to Tottenham. Great game that was um, for the goals. Arsenal, what I've been hearing and watching and everything else, Arsenal are disappointed not to get the three points in that game. And on the Arsenal end, I sort of got to agree with you. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call this one An Arsenal win. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 Arsenal win. 
My last one for this weekend is Aston Villa versus West Ham. Aston Villa losing 1 0 against Crystal Palace at Crystal Palace. West Ham beating Norwich 2 0. This game is tough, but I'll think about my predictions while I'm talking through this. Um, Aston Villa 1 0 against Crystal Palace away from home after Crystal Palace, uh, not Crystal Palace, Aston Villa beat um, Everton the week before. I think that they need to prove away a home a lot if they've got any chance of surviving. West Ham, on the other hand, didn't do too badly against Norwich. Could possibly have more than the two goals, if I remember rightly. Um, but how do I call this game? I'm going to give this one a... Tr This is so hot, this is so hot, uh, tough to call. Um, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go with a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. My link for my merch for the LOL t shirt company to get straight to my merch, the link is down below in the description. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.